this is Power Core's Mountain Brake System. Designed uh, one of the world's greatest brake systems for your mountain bikes. We'll go ahead and show you the components inside. We'll slide everything out. We have our ferrule packs. Um, the noodles for your feet brakes if you're running feet type brakes. Um, we have a clasp which allows our, the cords to tie on to um, onto your bike. And we have the power cords, the brake anchor for design for the mountain brakes, and then our high non-compressible housing. Uh, we also have a nice uh, and some instruction sheets and the power cord sticker to put on your bike. Okay, so the tools that we're going to use to install the power cords are fairly common. Um, we're going to use a, a cable cutter uh, used to go ahead and cut your cables. And then we have an, a, an awl to go ahead and clean out the inside and make sure that uh, everything is cleaned out. Um, we have some rock and roll lube. We want to make sure we use uh, lubrication in our system. And a uh, little technique is go ahead and I'll put maybe put a little lube on the outside. Move it around and so that my ferrules can slide on nice and easy. It's a little technique. And then we'll use a five millimeter Allen wrench. Um, it could you could also use a four millimeter depending on your system. So we'll use the eleven millimeter wrench. It will be only used on uh, mountain bike V brakes. And it's where the clasp, if we're going to tie the clasp, it's a, if it's 11 millimeters. Um, that'll probably be the only wrench that we'll use. And then either to cut the cord at, when we're done at the end, we can use an X-Acto blade, or you can also use a, the, a cable cutter. And those are all the tools you need to go ahead and do a quick install of the power cords on any bike. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install the power cords on the mountain bike. Um, we have our brake uh, cable and housings that we'll be replacing first, followed up by the drillers. Um, we've got the front brakes, the housing, the rear brake, and the housing, and then the drillers, the shipping pod, and the housing, and we'll go through all the different techniques to uh, quickly install them. Um, the first thing that we'll do is we'll remove the cables and take the old housing off, and I'm going to look and see I like the length of the housing, so I'm going to keep the length the same, I'll use the old housing to determine the length. Um, the same with the rear, looks like the housing length is a good length. And we'll go ahead and we'll just use the current uh, housing lengths and uh, to be able to do a quick install. So we'll go ahead and install the brake cord onto the brake. And that's fairly easy to do. You slide it in here. And then there's a the groove underneath here, which will slide it in. We'll line up our barrel adjuster. And we'll just go ahead and turn that around so we can get the cord will slide right in. And then we'll take the end of the cord. We'll make sure that uh, we have a clean cut so that it'll fit through the housing. Okay, and now here's our housing. We use this in here first and it'll slide in through. We want to make sure things slide nice and easy. And we'll just push it all the way through. We got the other end now, I'm just going to pull it all the way through. Set it right in to there. And then next we'll slide in the noodle. And we'll slide that in, pull it all the way. Do that. And then next we'll slide the boot on. And our housing is pre-lube. You can kind of see there's some lube there from when our, the cord came through the housing, so we know it's nice and lubed. And now we'll drop it right in. And we have our noodle. We're going to slip it right on to the, the brake. And I'll go ahead and I'll put the boot on there to kind of hold things in place. Now we got our, our barrel, our anchor bolt assembly, and we're going to replace the washer here with the Windsor clasp. So I'll go ahead and I'll take that off. And here's the Windsor clasp. 